we are privileged to present to you Friends of Eternity, a special gathering with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Cherish Artists, Part 20. Our next guest is the Emmy Award-winning singer-songwriter Faith Rivera. She has perfected the art of using lyrics and melodies to heal the heart and lift the spirit. Miss Rivera was a special guest star in musical The Real Love based on Supreme Master Ching Hai's life story. She couldn't be here in person, but she still wanted to perform for us via video. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Faith Rivera. Yeah. Oh, I love her. Oh, oh her Supreme Master. But she looked different today. And all of you beautiful friends. I am sorry I'm not with you there in person, but I'm sending my love, my aloha here from Hawaii. And I just want to thank you for being a presence of light and love on our planet and for being a part of the rise, the expansion, the evolution that is taking place. And it's all because of you and all of us. So hugs and aloha till next time. Aloha. Enjoy this song. Aloha. <laughs> thank you. Supreme Master, thank you for being such a force for good, a force for love, a force for light in this world, and for oh, inviting all of us to join you oh, in this beautiful. work that you do that is all about you're rising, beautiful. rising, and rising to the next level of light and love. Thank you. Love, love. Hug, hug. <laughs>
beautiful lyric, hey? Beautiful. Very uplifting. She must be pretty enlightened. <laughs> How about another round of applause for generous, talented Faith Rivera? Academy Award nominee Stuart Sender is a brilliant documentary filmmaker whose work has taken him around the world as he explores important subjects like human rights and climate change. Our wonderful friend will now tell us about one of his very meaningful projects. Please welcome Stuart Sender to the stage. Hi, uh, it's so lovely to be with all of you. Thank you. A week ago Friday, I was on the streets of Los Angeles with my daughter Emily, who's 21, and thousands of young people who were part of the climate strike, the global climate strike that on that day brought four million people into the streets. And over the course of the week, totaled about seven and a half million. Wow. You know, and they were saying to us, they were asking and they were demanding, right? They were asking, why is it that we know what the science tells us, we know what we're doing to the planet, and yet we're still doing so much damage to our land, to our soil, to our personal health, countless numbers of species around the world. Why? And they were saying, you know, to my generation in a certain way, you know, we're not, we're not going to tolerate this anymore. So on this evening, when we're celebrating so much talent and passion and love, I wanted to share just a couple of minutes of a project that I've been working on called Harmony, a new way of looking at our world. It's inspired by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles. And we explore places around the world from organic farms in India and the United States and the United Kingdom to what's happening to steel workers as the world changes. You'll see some kind of rare and unusual footage of Prince Charles and former Vice President Al Gore talking about these issues all the way back in 1988. So again, I want to thank everyone for sharing so much talent. Um, and here's a clip from Harmony. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. I don't want my grandchildren, or yours, to come along and say, to me, why the hell didn't you do something about this? You knew what the problem was. I mean, that is what I really, really have, have, have worried about and what helped, motivates me. When I started 22 years ago, as something that nobody really wanted to know about except a few people who thought it was pretty crazy. The ozone layer, marine pollution, toxic waste, acid rain, global warming, these rather fateful phrases have gradually become part of our daily lives. The difficulty it seems to me is how to achieve the kind of <clears throat> international cooperation that's necessary to, to tackle all these sort of problems. Uh, we don't have much uh, experience in putting together a global solution uh, to a problem of this magnitude. In fact, we have no experience of this sort, but we have to do it anyway. Representatives from nearly 200 nations will gather in Copenhagen to seek an agreement on a strategy to fight climate change. We live in times of great consequence and therefore of great opportunity. The Earth's alarm bells are ringing loudly. We face a future where there is a real prospect that if we fail the Earth, we fail humanity. So we have to confront the challenges we face. This is a call to action. We have lost something very precious, and that is an understanding of our interconnectedness with nature and a world beyond the material. It doesn't matter what country you're from, 
or what your belief system is, what your religion is, what your politics are. We are all living on the same very small planet. We have this extraordinary ability to be connected to the inner patterns of nature, which is really what we call the spiritual, because there is an urgent crying need to reconnect with that relationship again, with, with the things that are actually sacred. The only way everything can work together is if you have the circle going, because everything is connected to everything. Reducing poverty, increasing food production, and sustaining economic development are all vital priorities. It's not that we don't want to be good environmentalists, but we, we also want to have a business that's viable. We cannot sustain our human economy without sustaining nature's economy. There is a whole picture here about the way in which we not only treat the world around us, but also ourselves. Just as mankind had the power to push the world to the brink, so too do we have the power to bring it back into balance. There's so much beauty to celebrate. There's so much quality in the world. There's such humanity in people. I think we just have to open our eyes to it. Take a moment to consider the opportunities if we succeed. Imagine a healthier, safer, and more sustainable, economically robust world. Living green really doesn't take a whole lot. It just takes a little bit of respect for what Mother Nature provides for you, not to destroy, not take more than what you really need, you know? Deep down, I suspect, there are many who feel uneasy, they feel anxious, they, they can't see how the future is going to work out. They worry about their children, their grandchildren's future, but they feel powerless to do anything about it. How can you actually provide a, a genuine and believable alternative that actually would enhance people's lives and allow the sense of meaning and belonging to, to reappear? We can do this. We can do this, but I don't think we can do it alone. All I want to do with this is try to strike a chord in people's hearts, because I know it's there still. And when they discover it, it revolutionizes life, I think. Wow, thank you. Thank you. That's precious, precious. Thank you. New way, eh? Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Sender, for in your important work. We look forward to a future which in all humans live in harmony with nature and the animals. Let's have another round of applause for Stuart Sender. Thank you, really, for caring. Uh, everyone does something, then we have hope. Supreme Master Ching Hai, honoured to present His Royal Highness, Prince Charles Philip Arthur George, the Shining World Leadership Award for World Protection, with high respect, gratitude and praises in heaven's grace. May God uplift your soul and forever shield you and Great Britain with His eternal love. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully present His Excellency Al Gore the Shining World Leadership Award for Planet Preservation with high esteem, salute and gratitude for all your ongoing effort to preserve our planet in God's glory. May you and your United States of America be blessed abundantly forevermore. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for His compassion and love toward His precious children.
hospitable viewers, we appreciate your company today for Friends of Eternity, a special gathering with Supreme Master Qinghai and cherished artists, Part 20.